Hey, I am at the Sawtooth Trail Network in Truckee and I am going to do my 10th happy face lap this summer. All right, I am off for happy face lap number 10. So if you didn't see my intro video, I made a goal this summer that I'm gonna ride happy face 10 times, or sorry, I'm gonna ride happy face 20 times and see how that goes. It's definitely getting kinda loose and dusty. Breaking bumps, but it's not bad by any means. One of the reasons I picked 20, besides it being a nice round number and fairly significant over the course of a few months is that if I do happy face 20 times this summer I'll have hit about the same amount that I have done jackass or donkey town which is currently my most ridden trail I'm at the point now with Donkey Town, even if I haven't ridden it in a year, I have really good muscle memory for all the features. I mean, there's often new ones, but generally I have a great idea of what's coming, and I'm trying to get there with Happy Face, see if I can get that same kind of feeling for the trail. I feel like I'm starting to get there. One thing I've noticed that's pretty interesting is that I have a lot better sense of my speed and time on the uphill in the downhill like I'll do a ride I'll do the ride up and be able to be like oh that was you know on the faster side for me or oh that was definitely slower um, whereas with the downhill it's just so much more based on conditions like the last time or the time before I rode it I thought I was just flying and I was probably like 30 seconds behind the fastest I've ever done it, but the fastest I've ever done it was at the end of a mountain biking season and the trail was wet or damp and was able to just go fast and go hard without being worried about loose spots or dust. There's this time I feel like I'm going faster because it's you know, bumpier and looser, which is kind of surprising to me. So dirt bikes aren't allowed on Happy Face, but there's lots of like dirt roads and motor legal trails. But I think that's the first time I've ever seen them at that crossroad. A lot of good stuff.
we'll see how I feel after lap 20. But lap 10, I'm still not sick of this trail. You know, it's not super long and you know, not a ton of features or anything real technical, but it's fun to go fast and try and ride more smoothly, you know, brake less, hit some of the optional features more smoothly. It is downhill only, which means you can keep up a little more speed, but you still have to be careful because like earlier there's road crossings and you can always come up next to someone, stop, but it is one of the very few truly downhill only trails in Turkey. together. I've only ridden it once this year, but um, they also redid the bottom of Wood Splitter, the jump trail. And for someone who doesn't jump, like it's it's not like <laughs> great failures. If someone doesn't jump, it's better now. But I've heard that it's better from people who do love jumping. And I think it's more fun to as a non-jumper that they've had put more tabletops in. So I'm comfortable rolling them, but also catching a tiny bit of air. back on the two-way part of the trail. I think it's officially called Timber Cruise. I noticed that it used to just go to the bottom of the happy face climb, but now it's extended. And I don't know where it's going, but I heard they're putting in a climbing trail up to Big Chief, so maybe that's what it is. 